Is Russell Wilson Mile High's biggest mistake, or is he Mile High's biggest miracle, delivering us the first win against the Kansas City Chiefs in 16 wins, nine quarterbacks before him couldn't do it? In this video, we're going to break down the good and bad of Russell Wilson from this year and have you decide, is he on the right track? Is he our quarterback of the future? Is it Broncos country, let's ride, or Russell Wilson, let's retire? But before we can make a decision like, is he the franchise or is he a fraud? It really helps us to remember our headspace when we got Russell Wilson. Do you remember where you were when you heard the Denver Broncos had traded for the quarterback that beat us in the Super Bowl? The best team I think we'd ever assembled with Peyton Manning breaking touchdown records, Russell Wilson ripped our hearts out in the Super Bowl. And so even though we were disappointed that we did not get Aaron Rodgers, like all the rumors had said, we got the next best prize on the whole market, and that was Russell Wilson. And I remember coming home from lunch and listening to 104.3 The Fan and hearing Zach by. Uh, here's what he said. We have breaking Broncos news right now. This day is not going to finish the way that it started. Adam Schefter reporting that the Denver Broncos are acquiring Russell Wilson. Right here, right now. Russell Wilson is about to become a member of the Denver Broncos. This is not a drill. Tuesday, March 8th, should be a day that goes down in all-time Denver Broncos history. This is not a drill. You can see him jumping up and down with excitement, just being over the moon excited for Russell Wilson. And that is the energy in all of Broncos country. We saw Let's Ride on the outside of Invesco Field. All of Broncos country was bought in. And the Nathaniel Hackett disaster, I don't know if I've ever had a bigger letdown in my entire football fandom. That was a sight to behold. Stats back that up. If you look at last year, he was the 31st ranked passer. He had 16 total touchdowns, and he got a bunch in those last couple games after we fired Hackett. And the, the results were absolutely putrid. If you look at this chart, some of the only people who beat him in this chart are people who didn't even play the entire season. But then the coach everybody hoped we could get, the coach that Russell Wilson supposedly said he wanted, came to town, and that is Sean Payton. And he turned everything around. And he told Russell Wilson, you can't have an office anymore. You can't let Ciara just walk into the team facility and walk across the field. You don't get to have your own coaches on the field breaking down all of your plays. You don't get to have your own nutrition person. We have seen a different Russell Wilson this year. But still, the question remains, is he all the way back? Is he back to the same Russell Wilson who beat us in the Super Bowl? So let's dive into some film that I was able to look at and break down the good and the bad of Russell Wilson. This week, we're going to break down, is he back or is he the same old Russ? So looking at this first play here, we see uh, one of my favorite plays of the entire game. You see Russell Wilson put that ball where only Cortland Sutton could go up and get it. And I think that is a great example of Russ being back. Like, look at that drop. He He's confident with it. He's not hesitating. He puts it where only uh, Cortland Sutton can get it. And that was a, a really kind of reminded me of in basketball when you yell and one, like Cortland Sutton had an and one, like with the penalty, you still can't stop us. And so looking at that play, I'm like, yeah, man, Russ is back, baby. He's back like he never left. Let's check out this one here. Under Sean Payton, we're getting to the line early enough, which lets Russ make some adjustments, which is awesome. No one's counting down the play clock. He drops back, he drops back. He's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. He scrambles, 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 and runs and turns it into a positive play. But when I look at this play, I actually see this as, as some hesitation and some problems. So let's take a look at it again, the snap here. Let's look here at Marvin Mims, one of the fastest guys in the league. He's on the 30 right now. Okay, so watch at the top of his drop. He does his in route, his slant right there. And if Russ puts the ball just right on 19 right there, leads him a little bit. He's got him wide open right there. He also has his running back wide open there in the flat, yet he scrambles with it. And he's not fast enough to scramble like old Russell Wilson. So I look at that play, I'm a little discouraged by it because you had Mims and you had Javante Williams, who's like one of the fastest cats in the league. And instead, you rolled out of the pocket, let the defense adjust to you, and you got uh, just a, a meager gain there. So I think... Uh, the trend that I'm noticing, and that maybe Russ was a mistake, is that over the middle, 
intermediate throws. He is not he's not seeing it in a way that uh, that I liked before. So let's take a look here at this one. Big play here. All right, again, same thing. He's at the line early enough. We got Cortland Sutton in motion and takes a huge, huge, huge sack right there. Horrible play in my mind. So take a look here. You got Cortland Sutton, who is unstoppable in man coverage, and look at how wide open that is. He just ca- he catches the ball right there and just lunges forward. This is a third down sack that took us, you know, I, th- I think we end up trying to kick a field goal and gets blocked there. But that's wide open in the NFL, and if he just catches it right on the number there and lunges forward, easy first down on third. He's moving the chains. Russ hesitates, hesitates, hesitates. He's so afraid of making a mistake, and he doesn't. Also, Jerry Judy comes wide open late too, and you also see Mims break in on the 10 there. So I see multiple dudes wide open there, and instead Russell Wilson takes a sack, um, and we don't get points on that drive. So take a look at this play right here. We're in the red zone. Red zone's always important. Drops back, drops back. Hesitates, hesitates, hesitates. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Sack. Again on this play, I see multiple dudes wide open. Let's take a look at it. All right. So we have looking at Judy right there on the end of the Broncos. If he, if Russell Wilson just puts that towards the goal po- uh, field goal post, he's got him wide open in the back of the end zone there. You got a safety stepping up here um, to guard um i think that's little jordan humphreys so i think there has he just put that on the end or the c the back of the end zone put it in a place that only judy can get it um and and you're good and i think the other thing is we got her running back again look here boom he does a little out right there and he's right at the chains again so you get us a first and goal on the three instead of sack that leads to us needing to settle for a field goal again so that Another discouraging play there. Taking a look here at this play here. Very, very discouraging play here. You are not going to find a guy more open on this play than Jerry Judy. Now, check it. He's He goes out and boom, slants right across the middle. Dude, You he would walk into the end zone with, with his kind of speed and you got him. And he's just too small and over the middle. He is not connecting over the middle with anyone. And so I, I, that's a very discouraging play right there to me because he had Jerry Judy open and that would have been a first down. That's a second down. Um, I think we end up converting on that play, but none, nevertheless, we're in easily within the 10 yard line there, whereas Nathaniel Hackett calls it the gold zone and we weren't. Now here is old Russ. This is a very encouraging, encouraging play to me. This reminds me of Seattle Russell Wilson. All right, and he hits Cortland Sutton in the back of the end zone. Gorgeous little throw. So he drops back. He gets happy feet again, but this time instead of rolling to the left or the right, he steps up in the pocket, steps up in the pocket, and eyes up in the pocket. And when you step up, you're going to see more. And he gets past all those big trees, and boom, Sutton back of the end zone. Massive touchdown. And that, that was a very, very encouraging play to me. Looking here. Moves the pocket to the right, has multiple dudes open there, finds he finds our man Jaleel McLaughlin, undrafted rookie. So again, I think this is old Russ, using his feet to move the pocket and then finding a guy on the move. I think that was a gorgeous play. He almost had a, a Mahomes-like sidearm delivery, which is a very, very nice play there. So that reminded me of old Russ. Now, after turnover here, one of my favorite plays of the entire game because it was to Jerry Judy. He has time at the line. He's he's making adjustments here. Got Marvin Mins up top. You got Jerry Judy in the slot. Take a look at him towards the top of your screen. Gets the safety to turn his hips. And look at that moon ball. That is vintage Russ. Russell Wilson a couple years ago at the Pro Bowl won the skills combine for accuracy. His moon ball, his deep ball is one of the best deep balls in the entire NFL. And I just don't feel like we've seen it uh, as much this year. And so when he throws a deep ball, that looked like old Russell Wilson to me. So very encouraging play there. And then to tap it all off here, um, a great, great play right here. He has a little Jordan Humphreys in motion. Time at the line again. He He's reading the defense. and He can tell Jerry Judy's got a guy in man. And he just does a nice crossing route across the entire field and look Russell Wilson just puts it right there Jerry Judy had 20 steps on that guy 
And so that was a super, super encouraging play. Looking here as well, you see that Russell Wilson is second in his past to touchdown and interception ratio. He is fourth in past touchdowns, first in past touchdowns to attempts. His quarterback rating is fourth overall, and he's tied for first in fourth quarter comebacks. The highest passer rating on throws 25 yards down the field. He's fourth behind C.J. Stroud, Kirk Cousins, and Brock Purdy. What is he? Is he good? Is he bad? I don't know, Broncos country. I need your help. Weigh in and decide, is he a mistake or is he back? And he's going to take us to the playoffs. He broke the streak against the Chiefs. Is he going to break our streak of losing seasons and break our streak of missing the playoffs? I certainly hope so. And if I had to vote right now, I would vote for Broncos country, let's ride.